It is here at this homestay that friends and family of Isaac Ndongo have congregated. Controlled excitement captures the mood that is today's ceremony. <coughs> Inside the home, Isaac Ndongo packs up his belonging. A self-confessed alcoholic, he is about to embark on a journey that he hopes will change the course of his life. <coughs> a chapter of his life he has traveled through and one he hopes to walk away from a stronger man to have an opportunity to pick up the pieces of the life he once had that was appreciated and even admired. We first met Ndongo slightly over a fortnight ago. And I've been uh, taking uh, alcohol for quite a number of years, all the way from college up to now. The 41-year-old graduate has had an addiction challenge for the past 15 years. All what I will uh, request is to get assistance uh, from any any quarter so that I can be able to fight this uh, thing. And any kind of assistance uh, I'm willing to accept from any organization. But when we meet him this time, it is a lively looking Ndungo who easily breaks into a smile. He does not fail to tell us what he hopes for most from life after rehabilitation. Okay, my main expectation is that uh, once I've undergone uh, through this program, uh, through rehabilitation, I'll be able to settle down comfortably and uh, probably uh, be gainfully employed again. I then seek to know more about his personal life and how he hopes to pick up the pieces of his life. Let me say, I've been engaged, but uh, due to... The effect of alcohol have not been able to settle down in a permanent uh, relationship. After your rehabilitation, will you then be willing to consider marriage? Automatically, yes. <laughs> uh, hopefully, after being uh, undergoing the program, uh, I'm willing to settle down. Uh, and in terms of that uh, marriage, I'll, I'll settle down. His mother watches silently as her son talks about forgotten dreams now within reach. And while in the middle of attending to the guests, she talks to us about the hopes she has in her son. Kwa sababu akipona, hata mimi nitakuwa nimepona. Kwa mana wakati mungine na mimi ninasikia ni kama niko mgonjo. Hata wazazi wale wako na vijana kama hao, najua hata hao, his benefactors, Nairobi-based Bridge Center, stepped in after Citizen Television aired the story and offered to enroll Ndongo in their rehabilitation program at no charge. Organization Director Joyce Ngogi talks to us about her motivation. I happened to be watching the TV when Ndongo was covered and as I watched him talk about his pain and journey in alcoholism. He wished whether somebody would help him. That touched my heart. Eventually, the trip to the rehabilitation center in Nairobi begins for Ndongo. Friends and family now see Ndongo away as he sets off on a journey they too hope will bear fruit. And with it, hope that he will walk out of the rehabilitation center better than he is today. It is a road he had not considered. But now with his eyes on the road, his best days can only be ahead of him. For many struggling alcoholics and those caught up in substance abuse, there may not be many opportunities to assist them to walk away from their habits. And for Isaac Dongo, opting into rehabilitation offers him an opportunity to break away from his alcohol addiction. Chris Ongombe, Citizen, Weekend.